If you guys are making quality content but still your videos does not have that professional of a touch in it then this means that you are not putting your efforts into the video editing part. Well when it comes to video editing you must have some professional video editing tools and in today's video I will be reviewing top 5 video editing tools for iOS. Well before moving further into this video let me make it very clear to you guys that before shooting this video I came across a couple of videos on YouTube regarding the top 5 video editing apps for iPhone and I came to know that there is no single app that can help you make professional videos alone. So this means that you have to at least use a combination of two apps to make your videos look professional. So yeah let's get started. So the fifth video editing tool on our list is a very basic one and I will be moving up towards the most professional ones. So the first one is known as Viva Video. Viva Video is a very basic video editing tool and I used it as my first video editing tool when I started to make my YouTube videos. Viva Video is a free video editing tool that is available for free on the Google Play Store as well as Apple App Store. It is a very easy to use and basic software that's why I recommend it for the beginners because I personally used this app when I started making videos. It allows us to combine multiple videos, add a background music to our videos, add some text to our videos and some other effects that can help make your content look better. This app also allows us to shoot videos directly from the app and add them to the video timeline. The only thing that I don't like about this app is that it puts a watermark of the app on our videos and can be removed by buying the pro version. So the number fourth video editing software on our list is iMovies which is available only for iOS devices. iMovies is very similar to Viva Video but I like this app because of the feature that it allows us to make cinematic videos and export videos in 4K resolution and does not have any watermark in it. I would recommend you guys to use iMovies after editing about 5 to 10 videos on Viva Video and then move on to a more professional video editing tool like the Filmora Go. Filmora Go allows us to add voiceovers to our video, add custom themes to our video, add text to our video, combine multiple photos and videos and combine a layer of videos and photos together. This video still has a watermark but not at the bottom of the video or at the top of the video the watermark comes only at the last of the video so you can still crop that part out using the photos application on your iPhone. Now the reason why I think Filmora Go is better than iMovies and Viva Video is because it is more customizable than iMovies and Viva Video and it allows us to add voiceovers to our videos yeah so that's the third video editing software on our list and let's move to the second one. Now this video editing software is known as KineMaster and is the best video editing tool according to most of the people but I would like it to rank on second on our video because the video editing software which I personally use is more better than it. Well let's talk about the features on KineMaster. This app allows us to add multiple voice layers to our video totally customize the soundtracks, increase or decrease the loudness, increase or decrease the pitch of our sound and the reason why I like this app is because it provides us with the feature to remove the video background of our videos by using the chroma key feature. Using this app you guys can get awesome animations, effects and transitions into your video. Now this app is a complete and full-fledged video editing software and can be used as a standalone video editing software but the reason why I don't like this app is because it's not user friendly. This app being a professional video editing software still have some bugs and need to be fixed. So the last but not the least video editing software on our list is CuteCut Pro. This app is a very professional and easy to use app and helps us customize our videos very well. I don't know why I like this app so much but I can bet if you guys use this app or KineMaster you would like it more than the KineMaster and I cannot explain how it's better than KineMaster. The difference can be felt only if you use this app for a week or so. So guys that was it for today's video. Thanks for watching the video. Please like share and subscribe to my channel for further videos.